So I'm going to layer up my colors and move my canvas back so you guys can see. And I'm going to pour first some yellow. Just doing a light layer in there. And then I'm going to continue on by layering the colors. What I pour, I'm pouring right into the center of the cup on top of the other color. So I'm going for some pink to give it that drastic look. And I'm gonna do a little dark purple. Go back to the yellow. Uh, maybe do a little bit of teal here. And I think the most fun part about this is that we really are not gonna know what it's gonna look like. <laughs> it's just kind of a surprise. So let's give it a little light purple. I've used almost all my colors here, but I want to make sure I have enough paint that um, it's going to cover the canvas. So we're about three quarters of the way with the cup here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my canvas over like this. And I'm going to hold my cup underneath it. And I'm going to do a big flip. And this is scary because you might make a huge mess, but that's okay. We're just going to go for it. So three two, one, and flip. And then I'm gonna set my canvas down. And you kind of feel the color suck down so it's not gonna really go ev everywhere until you're ready to pull it up. So I'm giving it a couple seconds to kind of just settle. And then I'm gonna pull it straight up. And at this point, you can unmute yourself and say, ooh wee! <laughs> nah. So I'm gonna let this kind of drip out, get all these other drips going and you can see it's kind of settled where it's at and it's starting to pour backwards this way so I'm gonna give it a little help here I'm gonna take one of my stir sticks and I'm gonna just slowly shift I'm gonna shift this way first to get all of this um, covered up here Woo! and you can see that pink in the back is happening all the silicone is going and as soon as this is covered, we're gonna do, use our um, blow dryer, give it some heat, and that will open up all the cells that are hiding underneath the layers of paint that are really thick on here right now. I love that it drips down the side, but doesn't cover all of the white, or some, sometimes it does. And you can see a lot of weird mixing happen with the yellows and the greens here. So you're using the stick to kind of open up a little um, Just roadway? open up the roadway. And that's what, if we were to have covered our canvas with white first, which is called flooding, that would give the paint more movement on its own. But since we didn't do that, ooh, look at that cup even. It's so beautiful in there. Mm -hmm. um, now we're kind of at where we're at. So we are going to let it settle and hit it with a blow dryer. <laughs> Isn't that crazy good? Come on. Oh my gosh. So we have this on hot too. I'm gonna turn it off here for a minute and we're gonna get some of that pink in here. And I know it's hiding on this side, so I'm gonna pull it this way. So you can see when she said to let it dry for three days, now you know <laughs> why, because it's truly almost like a lava, right? Yeah, it so is. So thick. It's our little volcano mess. Lovely mess. Oh yeah, see now we got some more purples in there and we kind of got rid that. of that. Oh my brown. gosh. And so good. we're gonna hit it with the blow dryer one more time and see what we got. 